does it mean to face to face say, uh, in, internal pain or suffering to face means to understand all the mechanisms that we've been learning to avoid things and to cancel them to see yes to see to see i mean many times we we, we the, the, you know avoidance is a very big one for us in this society you know we learn to avoid what we don't like so we just you know everything you understand mm -hmm. is avoidance you see if you just you can avoid you go and avoid you know distraction entertainment uh this latest uh luxury kind of things you see people love to be surrounded by by cheesy luxury you know? because that's what it is it's cheesy you know the kind of double sink toilet thing <coughs> you know <laughs> because <laughs> yes <laughs> because of the avoidance you avoid the confrontation of that simplicity you avoid the confrontation because of the memories that bring in you you're avoiding things you're just slamming the door against the past generation after generation and it doesn't work like that it's avoidance and we have we are so automatically ready for it you know because if you're not feeling good we look for entertainment okay let's look at watch a movie no matter what movie just go in the movie you see, let's eat. No matter what is in the fridge, let's eat it. But have you turned around and just, you know, if you're sad to the point that you can't stop crying, can you, have you turned to say, well, okay, let's face it. Let's, you know, can, have you gone to, uh, you know, under a tree alone where nobody is there and sit down and just cry your heart and say, okay, kill me if you need to kill me then, but I'm not going to run away from you anymore. I want to see the depth of you. Come on, come for me now. Come for me. I run all my life from you, but not today. Because that's what takes to find freedom. That's what it takes to find peace. It takes that that warrior kind of mentality, you see what I mean, in which you you just not want to run away anymore. And everybody tells you how to run away or how to hope that things will pass, don't worry, I've been through that, it's okay, you know, just get a new shirt, or who knows what. You feel better if you get a new shirt. Or new car, or new house, new girlfriend, new job. New country, it's quite easy nowadays, you just take a flight and go and live somewhere else. But it's not that easy. Because you carry in you what you're running from. So you can go to the middle of Himalayas and you still will have your mind. So when you start looking for freedom, you start looking for... First you start admitting that running away didn't work. You need to admit that. If you're not sure yet, you are not in the right <coughs> Bless you, you're not in the right place. You understand? If you're not sure of that, <coughs> go running away for a few years more. I might be here, or if I'm not here, someone else will be around. But if you're ready for that, if you think it's enough, wow, man, it's so beautiful. Because your heart opens wide and you just feel the vulnerability of everyone. You understand? And you feel one with everyone because you just know exactly what goes on, no matter how they portray it. I remember asking you how, how to, what's the best way to open to you? And you said to see that we're the same. Mm. So that's what you're saying now. Yes. It goes back and forth, doesn't it? From 
the openness brings a sort of sensitivity to the sameness absolutely of absolutely. everyone's condition absolutely <clears throat> and and be sure that if i wasn't if if it wasn't my own direct experience what i'm talking about yes i wouldn't be able to sit here i'm not talking something i don't know about i'm not talking something about i read in a chapter of a book I'm talking because I am also like you, and I've been through the shit, and I've been alone crying, and I've been, and I am confronting, you see, my human condition permanently. Not confronting, but being in peace with it. So I know it's not a way out, it's a way of life. Hmm. Peace is a way of life, it's not, it's not a trophy that you get one day because you've been doing the right deeds. It's a way of living. Peace is not something that, oh, a miracle happened and now my mind is in peace. Isn't it great? It's like a lottery, isn't it? Suddenly your bank is filled. <laughs> it isn't. Peace is a daily choice. Achievement and choice. Mm. It's moment by moment choice. Surrendering is a moment-by-moment -moment choice. And to surrender is not to run away from yourself, you see. Not to run away from yourself. Not to run away from yourself. And to run away from yourself means to run away from what you're feeling, to find, to look for techniques to avoid them. No matter how clinical you sound, <laughs> you're trying to avoid. So when I tell you these things, and when you ask me how to stop suffering, and I know in my own experience this, imagine, what can I tell you? A technique to stop suffering? So welcome, open, broken heart, welcome to the club. I am an open, I'm a broken heart, if you like to be called like that. Yes. Everyone is. Because all our hearts are broken. We're just doing our best to kind of leap around. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the reality, you see. So some of us, we live with dignity that condition. And you can do too. And if you do that, you, you find peace. And if you live without dignity, which means you're running away and trying to hide things and pretending you're okay when you're not okay, then, well, you can't blame your mind to be too busy, because your mind is trying to portray something that is not real. So if you feel like shit, and you say, hi, your friends say, how, how are you feeling? I'm feeling like shit. Full stop. Your mind not, is not kind of working on. Well, you know, <laughs> it's great. And I think I have been in better moments. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yes. Very nice to go and get peace. And enlightenment to get rid of all this but that's not the way it works and in a paradoxical way when you are having this attitude of not running away you find a way through in which you find another dimension that gives you the strength to go through the emotions. And that's difficult to say in words. But the emotions and the difficulties are unquestionable, the vehicle through which you can find and you can exercise peace and not mistakes or 
stones on your path. On the contrary, they're just, this is your path. Your life is your... Your drama, I used to say many years ago, is your dharma. Your drama is your dharma. Now, if you want to change your drama, you want to change your dharma. Dharma is path. Path is that through which you will have all the teachings, all the teachings you need, they will come through your life. So if you're going through this or that, that's the teaching, that's part of the teaching. In that moment, that's what you need to learn about. If you're going through sadness, this is now what you need to learn about. If you're going through um, disappointment, this is what you need to learn about. If you're going through happiness, this is what you need to learn about. Yes? And so on. If you're going through whatever you're going through, is your path. So that means you recognize that, and again, you have less mental activity necessary for delineating your future because you <laughs> you know whatever brings your future will be part of your path and since you're familiar to go step by step with it you're not necessarily needing to delineate your future so m less mental activity if you solve the future then by confronting the now, the reality, by facing your condition, you solve the future. Because if you can do it now, you will do it later. If you can't do it now, you won't be able to do it later. You, later, you will be looking for a magic solution for later, as you might be doing now. So if now you're looking for a magic solution for later, later you're going to look for a magic solution for later, later. And that's the way it goes. So yes, you know, and, and I'm sorry you broken heart. And I, I know the depth and I know that this, the, you know, the storm that can happen, the kind of winds that are there, you see, the kind of back winds. And I know exactly what, what you can be going through. And I... I recommend you stillness, you see, not running away from anything, just facing it. And, and how, as I said, identifying mechanisms of avoidance and not just, just not go that road. Just not go that road. Have a good cup of tea with sadness. Have a good cup of tea with disillusion. Have a good cup of tea with disappointment. Everything needs to be honored. Have a, to have a good cup of tea with the remains of yourself, what, what is left of you see. Everything is broken and kind of hanging around, but something is here still kind of beating. Have a cup of tea with that. You know? Become your best friend. Become your best friend. That's what is needed. You understand? Become your best friend. Nobody can do that for you. Is that clear? Yes, very. Thank you very much. Mm.